Hey guys, my name's Nate Miller. I'm a Bob Ross Certified Instructor, and I thought today I'd show you two very effective ways to practice the Bob Ross Painting Technique. And the best thing is, you don't even need to buy a ton of equipment. Just a couple tubes of paint, handful of brushes, and a big old palette. So get ready for the Extravagant Works experience as I show you Bob's Tricks of the Trade. So for this first little trick that I'm going to show you, we're going to practice some happy trees right here on your palette. Now, all you'll need for this is a Bob Ross plexiglass palette. You'll need a tube of Bob's Mountain Mixture or Midnight Black would work just as fine. And you'll need a Bob Ross fan brush. So you can practice all kinds of trees right here on the palette. So let me show you here. I'm going to load this fan brush full of Mountain Mixture both sides, get it nice and full. You can do the wiggle method where you wiggle it through on both sides and then sharpen that brush. It'll bring it to a nice chiseled edge, nice sharp brush. And let's practice a couple of trees on the palette. So, make an evergreen tree, we'll just tap in a little tree trunk. Again, make sure your brush is absolutely full of paint when you're doing this. Tap in the tree trunk and then just with the corner of the brush, I'll make a couple of branches up top, and as you work down the tree, you're just going left, right, left, right, kind of kind of like the letter Z, all the way down, all the way down the tree. Let's do that again. Nice full brush, nice full fan brush. Make another tree here, tap in that trunk, a couple of branches work down the tree. And again, this is a fantastic way of practicing happy trees because you don't you don't need to do a whole painting. You don't really need a lot of brushes or lots of different tubes of paint. You can just practice right here on the palette and you can make as many trees as you want. And then by the time you, you do your first painting, you're that much better at, at practicing happy little trees. So once you're done practicing your happy little trees, you can grab a Bob Ross palette knife, scrape up all of that paint, and you can put it right back into the pile, and then you can practice more happy trees. So stick around, I'm gonna show you one more trick that you can use to practice the Bob Ross oil painting technique. So for this next little trick, I'm going to show you how you can practice mountains right here on your palette. Again, all you'll need is a Bob Ross plexiglass palette, a tube of titanium white, and a tube of phalo blue. And I've gone ahead and already mixed together phalo blue and titanium white to make our shadow color for our mountain. Another thing that might be helpful for you is if you get a, a little cardboard cutout of a basic mountain shape. I've gone ahead and, and drawn a basic mountain shape on there, just, just with a little Sharpie. And I've taped that piece of cardboard behind my palette. So I have something to work with. It's just a basic mountain shape, that's all it is. You'll need a Bob Ross palette knife. And let's go ahead and get started with our highlights. I'll cut off that little roll of paint and right here we can practice getting that paint to, to break right on the palette. So titanium white and I'm just gonna do what I would do if I was painting a mountain on a painting or in a painting. Make my highlights. Couple right here. And I'll tell you what, if you can get that paint to break on a smooth plexiglass palette, I know you can get it to break on a rough, toothy canvas. No problem at all. No problem at all. But this is such a good way to practice doing these mountain highlights and shadows. Let's work on a couple shadows. I'll take that phalo blue titanium white mixture Let's go ahead and put in some, some nice shadows. There we go. 
Again, titanium white, phthalo blue. And this is exactly, exactly how Bob would, would paint a mountain in a painting. We're just doing it, we're doing it on the palette. And there you go. You can, you can practice that all day long. There is no harm in practicing. In fact, we encourage it. As Bob Ross instructors, we encourage practice. But again, this has been an extravagant works experience, tricks of the trade. All you need is a Bob Ross palette, a couple brushes, a couple tubes of paint, and you can get better at the Bob Ross painting technique. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you soon. Happy painting.